Hello for MD monitor part uh, 3 installation. Oops. So the first one, the first part uh, we sh I show you how to install the server, the second one how to configure uh, a fire firewall ports and the third one has been for the create a SSL certificate inside of the server and open the webmail forcing the clients to always using encrypting connection so they nobody can steal their username and password in this video i will show you how to you have you using your own uh, domain name in my case i have uh, learned how to do so i'll demonstrate uh, how to use it um, I'm using uh, iFuture.business uh, for web hosting. You can use GoDaddy, whatever uh, it's your web hosting. Okay, and the sign how to do. Every single uh, DNS server or web hosting provides uh, DNS records. So you have to go to DNS records. In this case, I have learned how to do. I want to add a record. in learnhowtodo.com and my it's a mail test during the installation we select a server name and also we manage actually the full name of of the server which we used for example, we select that our email will be learnhowtodo.com. So whatever, whatever account at learnhowtodo, blah, 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 at learnhowtodo. Inside, we give a test mail dot learnhowtodo.com. We said that, you know, this machine actually will be test mail dot learnhowtodo.com. So when you're creating a DNS record, in our case here, we saying test mail dot learn how to do dot com. So the both names has to match. I'll create a record and the value is the public IP address of, of our machine. So the public IP address of this machine you can see from your uh, your Azure portal when you click uh, in your server okay. and uh, here it is your public IP address the other way how can I find what is uh, the server name if you open any browser and type, and type in Google, what is my IP? And immediately giving you the same number. So here it is, I will put the value of our DNS, this IP, and click Add. Okay, here has been created. Now we want also to create a indoorhowtodo.com MX record. What mean MX, MX records? Means that if somebody writes to uh, my name at learnhowtodo.com, the server, the mail server will communicate. So you have to create MX records. If I leave empty means that every single 
learnhowtodo.com will go to the value is actually test mail dot learn how to do dot com so when I click add means that every single email which has to go to learn how to do dot com will go to machine test mail dot learn how to do dot com which is our testmail.learnhowtodo.com, our server. And uh, now I do have already learnhowtodo.com emails, which actually arriving to another server because I want to create uh, a specific uh, uh, server name. Uh, so I don't want to duplicate my MX records, but I uh, just want to show you here in learn how to do.com. If I press the button add, it will create me a server. For the moment I'm using the web hosting provider um, email server, but if I want to to change it with our this M daemon, I just have to put learnhowtodo.com with MX records, this is what I show you, will go to testmail learnhowtodo.com. So in this way, every single email which has been sent to your name at learnhowtodo.com will go to our MDMON server. I will avoid for this moment, I'll, but this is everything what you have to do. Now I will do for my own server, I will create uh, another domain. And uh, I will change the domain name to be not only this domain manager, I want to create a new domain which I will create uh, uh, mylemail.learnhowtodo.com. Okay, how you can see has been created. The SMTP host name is exactly the same. This. So I'm just creating the now. Now this means that my accounts, my email accounts will be the username at mymail.learnhowtodo.com. It's not like at learnhowtodo.com, it will be at mymail learn how to do.com so I will create also my mail dot learn how to do.com record okay I said learn how to do okay I'm adding a record I want to create a my mail dot learn will be a record will be with the with IP this one Oops. same IP but this time it will be my my mail dot learn how to do dot com so I'll access, uh, I'll access with this name and I'll create uh, my mail a 
Amex records and that's important and here is the full qualified name of the server is this one here okay so my mail learn how to do dot com actually will go to test mail learn how to do dot com with MX records that's important Okay, so I have two records and they are my mail. My mail .com is the IP address of the machine and my mail how to do with MX records, this is for the email programs only, will go to the name testmail.learnhowtodo.com. And this testmail.learnhowtodo.com is actually uh, where we created it. Here, testmail is going to the same IP address. So if I go now to try. In the web address, I put my mail dot learn how to do dot com. I should to go. This is what I told you. Is not secure because we self signed the certificate, so it's self signed. But we don't come from security exception. Here it is, the same page, this time we are accessing with mymail.learnhowtodo.com and it's encrypted. Yes, it's a self sign, so you have a yellow triangle, but we don't care. The most important is that our username and password are encrypted. So, this is everything what I wanted to show in this video. For me it was a little more complicated because I want to activate a second domain to not mess up with the existing server. So this is everything. Uh, now you know how to configure your DNS so you'll be able to access uh, your, your M daemon through uh, your name, no, no anymore uh, IP machine digital numbers. Uh, the next one, uh, I will separate on two videos. Uh, the next one, I work with a client. I will use a Thunderbird uh, email clients to configure uh, your emails. And I will create a few email accounts as well.